How to copy file from Windows Remote Host with Ansible? Is a remote to local. I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about Ansible module fetch. The full name is ansible.builtin.fetch, which means that it is part of a collection of module built in with Ansible and shipped with it. It's a module pretty stable and out for years. The purpose is to copy file from remote location. Please note that the opposite is done by module copy for Linux and win underscore copy for Windows. But fetch works uh, between uh, Linux and Windows target. Parameters. The parameter list is pretty wide, but I will summarize the most useful. The only required parameter are dest that specify a directory where to save a file into and the src specify the source file in the remote host. It must be a file, not a directory. The fail underscore on underscore missing boolean is set to true, so the task is going to fail if the file doesn't exist. Feel free to change. The file is going to be transferred and validated in the source and destination with checksum. This is an extra layer. If you don't want this behavior, you could override with validate underscore checksum option. The flat option allows you to override the default behavior of appending hostname path to file to the destination. So prepare to see all the full path in your file system if this option is set to no. But demo time! Let's jump in a real life playbook about how to copy file from Windows Remote Host with Ansible. Are you excited? Let's go! Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple playbook to copy file from Windows Remote Host. So let's begin our play name fetch module demo. Then we are going to target us all of our inventory and because it's Windows become mechanism is set to false because uh, we don't need this stuff. Doesn't have a pseudo windows. Let me define some variable will be very useful to customize. One will be for sure my file. Let me use the single quote so I can write directly the path. In my case under C user vagrant is my username and in the desktop there is one file called example txt. This path is relative to my user. And let me specify also the dump here where is going to be saved this file under the logs directory. Please be mindful that uh, logs directory is local to this to the Ansible controller. We are going to have only one task that is going to fetch file and then let's uh, use uh, the Ansible module ansible.builtin.fetch with two parameters source and destination. Let's start with a source that will be the value of my file variable. Here we go. And destination will be dest. Here we go. The value of my dump there. Easy. As you can see, in a few lines of code, I'm able to copy a file from a remote 
running system with uh, Windows and copy on the Ansible controller. So the source file name is in the desktop of Vagrant user example.txt and I'm going to save under the logs directory. This transfer will be verified by checksum and I'm expecting all the hierarchy on my file system because I'm not using flat. Let's see the result. Welcome to my Windows machine. As you can see, I have one example.txt file on my desktop. Let me open and there is also some example content inside. I would like to transfer this file from this machine running Windows to the Ansible controller. And let's see if Ansible is doing the magic for us. And welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me execute the Ansible playbook to copy this file. As usual, let me specify my inventory with dash e under virtual machine win inventory and the path of my Ansible playbook. In my case, under copy file from remote host and will be fetch dash windows yml. The execution will be very fast and I'm expecting one change of status, which means some operation are performed from the machine. Here we go, gathering facts and I got my file. But where exactly the file is on my file system? Let me try to list the logs directory in the current directory. No, it's not completing. So under the directory of the running playbook, we have a Windows Server directory and let me complete with the full path C user Vagrant desktop. Here we go. Let me use a cat so I can finally see my text file. And here we go. We have example.txt with example content inside. Yes, so Ansible did a great job. What is the strange charter in the end? You know, Windows is using a different line termination. So if you want to use in your Linux machine, you need to convert from Windows style to Unix style. So pretty normal. So good job Ansible. You successfully transferred one file from Windows machine to Ansible controller, verify the checksum, everything is fine. Good job. Now you know how to copy file from Windows remote host with Ansible. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, Give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and keep in touch with me. See us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.